Hi you guys, so we're doing an unboxing today, so this is going to be like a, a haul, a haul update for the uh, channel. So um, I mentioned in a previous video that I made an uh, import order, it's been about three weeks but it's finally here uh, from right stuff, so let's get inside and have a look what we got. So, um, I hope everything's okay, the box is tattered. Ooh, okay. See what we've got. Several pieces to this. And then we have our invoice of button. So any of you guys, that, I don't know if I've shown the in, uh, right stuff packaging before, but um, I did talk about importing my last video. Um, right stuff, do take extra care for your packaging, as you can see with the cardboard walls inside. And all the brown, brown wrap I've just unearthed from this parcel. So let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, what do we have here? So first up we have, and you never thought there was a girl online. So this is a um, a show that was going to come via um, Universal, uh, it's a Funimation release. It was supposed to come via Universal for, for the UK, but for whatever reason, Universal's kind of gone under. And um, I'm not quite sure what's happening with Universal, but this was supposed to come via Universal, but hasn't happened. Universal has kind of gone. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, to be honest, with with the debacle about uh, Funimation at the moment, um, pulling their license with Anime Limited is a possibility that they've also pulled this as well, and that it will not be actually coming out in the UK. So this is a uh, Region A. So it's a double play pack as well. So this is basically a romance comedy uh, with with gaming. Gaming is a one of the themes of the show and I think it's to do with this uh, girl on the frontier being a bit obsessed with video games and the person she ends up meeting, our protagonist in video games. Let's take a look at our next lot. So, Ray Life. I'm really surprised this hasn't been licensed in the UK to be honest. Um, it's a very good uh, popular show when you're dead. Um, I'm really looking forward to when the uh, OVAs come out. Because I've seen the OVAs, the OVAs were great. Basically, about hitting the reset button on this guy's life that wants to um, have another crack at uh, life again, kind of, when he goes to uh, school. Someone else can give it a better description than I can. So, it is Region A and B for this release, so if you were to import this, it will work on. Uh, UK Great players. Next up we have Donganampa. Um I've been looking forward to this. We did get season one in the UK. Um, but unfortunately we never got the rest of it. So um, this is only a standard release. Huge fan of Dongan Um I've yet to play the third game, but I have played all the others. Double play pack and it is region A. Uh, so, take off our slip cover. Just have a look at the art included with this Blu ray release. Pretty much just all the cast. Same spine, same back. So, that was the future arc to Dong and Romper. Just like that. To go with the future arc, we also have the despair arc. So that will complete Dongan Rumba, the anime series, since the final um, when the when they uh, were finishing up this uh, story of Dongan Rumba, they were going to end it with an anime rather than a video game. Although I do believe one of these cover the second game, also Region A, and it's a DVD double playback. 
I think it's uh, this bear arc that covers the uh, second game. Because, uh, as we can see on the front cover here, it's all the cast from the second game. I'm pretty sure it covers the second game. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I do like my Dongan so. There we have it. I'm going to romper. And our final set. First up we have... Orange. Now, I was a bit torn about this set because when I did see it while it was airing, I wasn't blown away. I mean, I thought it was an okay show, but... You know, I wasn't hugely too fussed about it. But, considering the sale, I decided, you know what, why not? There were plenty of other sets I were going to pick up, but uh, I didn't end up doing so. But um, it was cheap enough and decided to screw it, why not? And this is another A and B set. Uh, featured in my last video, uh, uh, Brad Lab was talking about um, how the majority of the sets these days are now actually region A and B. Next up we have The Disappearance of Harry Suzumiya, the movie. Um, I do have the Ultimate Edition and I've been waiting to add this to it. Thanks to the sale, I'm finally capable of doing that. Great movie, enjoyed it. Uh, region A. Been looking forward to adding it to the collection. I mean to do it and I've never done it. Because <laughs> the next. Um, Import. I plan to upgrade several sets. Um, someone keeps badgering me. So someone keeps badgering about finishing Kale. <laughs> and last but not least, and I'm kind of glad this will last. So no, I haven't. Um, I don't have a time portal or anything to find out that Death Parade was going to be cancelled in the UK. I actually bought this because it was on sale with the Funimation sale, and I kind of got fed up of waiting. Um, it's funny really because uh, a couple of days ago um, I was talking about it with Dari Coolest and I was discussing how like you know with the announcements coming up with this NCM Comic Con I'd be kind of annoyed if they were to announce Death Braid uh, was finally actually coming to the UK since I bought the limited edition like not two weeks prior uh, sorry well a month prior but it's turned up today a week before Comic Con and I actually have Death Parade so um, I got fed up of waiting and it seems that my fed up of being wait waiting rewarded me. The only thing that's going to kick my behind is if, uh, if Funimation come out and say right we're going to release it for the UK and then I've spent money, uh, more money than what I probably should have done on that set. Although to be honest it probably would come out to the same price anyway because they'll probably release it in the UK for about 40 to 50 quid. So it'll come out to about roughly the same amount. But yes, um, <clears throat> that's my right stuff update. Well, my right stuff haul for uh, this summer for 2018. I, I do plan to make one for the end of the year, or if they do another theme sale that warrants a purchase. But you know, as I said, do try to buy in bulk to save against um, administration costs if you if you if you want to make multiple purchases. And also shipping costs, since you will just add up and add up and add up if you single items out. Okay, I do have other sets to show off, but I'll wait. Okay, so everything's finally come in, so I'm just going to cover what else I got uh, during the part of the past five months since my last haul, along with the right stuff. So first up, we have uh, Boy and the Beast. I've been meaning to pick this up for a while. It's the only memory of Hossida film I don't have. Um until Mirai comes out, which recently just had its world premiere in Paris, so hopefully we don't have to wait too long for Mirai, but we'll see. I think Anime Limited is either going to license it or very keen to license it. They actually went, uh, and Andrew did go to the premiere, so hopefully we get to hear more about it. So here we also have Beautiful Bone Sakurako-san's Investigation. Um, I found this on eBay cheap here in the UK. Um, uh, Sentai Filmworks Region A release, for any of you that are interested. Um, yeah, 
for me, I've, you know, I've, I've seen this, I can't remember what happens in it, it's been ages since I've seen it, but I've seen it dirt cheap, I must have to pick it up. Uh, next we have a show I'm actually going to revisit very, very shortly. Actually, I've just seen the first five episodes recently of season one, since I haven't seen it in a while. And that's Blurt Assist. Um, I, I haven't seen season two. I was waiting for it to release, and then I was going to rewatch it all. So this is part one. Part I have pre-ordered part two, so I should get part two I think next week, depending. Next we have Future Diary. I've been meaning to pick this up for ages. Um, this is the old Funimation release because I really I, I didn't want to pick up the Kaze release because so I think the Kaze release was like two discs. I think it was. I might be wrong on that. But um, I found the old Funimation release cheaper than the Kaze release, so I figured you know I'm going to pick up the Funimation release. They have re-released this though, along with the OVAs to go with it, so it's completely up to you whether or not you want to uh, go pick up that release instead. But this release is also reasonable. Next we have Madoka Magica, um, movie three. Um, all right, cool. So I was talking to it at the time was going nuts over um, Madoka Magica, and I decided to rewatch it. It's flimsy though. And um, I decided to rewatch Madoka Magica uh, movies one and two because they're supposed to be better animated and whatnot. And he told me to go watch uh, movie three as well. And I've seen the first two movies, and I kind of neglected to watch this because at the time, uni and not in the right mood. So to say, unfortunately. So I will get round to watching it at some point, but I did end up watching it. Here we have um, My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. Um, I tried watching it a very long time ago, and I only watched the first episode. And I don't know what was wrong with me back then. Like I was really moody, and I watched the first episode, didn't like it, and turned it off, and didn't go back to it. And I, oh, I kind of condemned My Hero Academia as. Nah, I don't like it. And then, um, you know, a lot of people start, you know, a year, a year had gone by, and people started, you know, getting really excited for season two. And um, I finally found, I found season one cheap on uh, Amazon, and I decided, you know what, I want to give it another go because everyone's badgering on about it. And I ended up watching season one. I watched like the first four episodes, and I was like, I don't know why I didn't enjoy this. End up buying season one because it was cheap on Amazon. Uh, the Blu ray is on the shelf. And yeah, I, I ended up really, really enjoying it. So I ended up buying it, watching it, and enjoying it. Which also led me to my final edition here My Hero Academia uh, Season 2 Part 1 with Part 2 pre order. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of, it's kind of a shame that I, uh, you know, Slandered uh, My Hero Academia as meh because I didn't enjoy the first episode and I was moody, not in the proper mood to watch anything. So, but I have reconciled that uh, <laughs> that opinion of mine and they're watching My Hero Academia and rather enjoying it. So, usually superheroes aren't my thing, but My Hero Academia seems to be somewhat of an exception. So that's the haul for summer 2018. So that was what I pretty much bought on the side alongside. Um, what what I've, what I've been unboxing, um, what I bought with Roy stuff recently, so that's pretty much I think the collection up to date really, um, I will be doing a collection video at some point, um, just again need the right time, but uh, for now that's, that's a whole update as to what I've been buying in my spare time. So I hope you enjoyed that guys, just to get an insight as to what I bought during the period in between what else I'm unboxing. Okay, thanks for checking out my video guys and as always. Take care. Have fun.